Okay, hello again everybody. This is Mr. R. We're going to take a look at drawing a topographic profile using a topographic map. What I have here is I have a worksheet that has a sample of a topographic map and then it has this chart over here. It kind of looks like gra a graph and what this is, this is going to be where I'm going to draw my topographic profile. And some of the things that we should note about the topographic profile, we're going to be doing it from A to B. And if I measure A to B, that's uh, just about 11 centimeters, it should be the same width as the topographic profile chart that we're going to be using. That's pretty important. That way we're at a one-to-one -one scale. It makes things so much easier. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot a point on this chart everywhere that this line from A to B crosses over a contour line. So... I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and count them. There's going to be one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It's going to cross nineteen times on the contour. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to make kind of a data table. So there's going to be nineteen of these. So I'm going to plot 19 points. My first one's done for me here. That's point one is going to be here. And point 19 is already done for me also. That's point there. And that's at 900 elevation. And these are all in feet. And then this point, number 19, is also at 900 elevation. Now I'm just going to make my chart here. Here's my t-chart or data table, whatever you want to call it. And here is going to correspond with a distance and I'm going to measure that in centimeters and that's going to be the distance away from my point of origin here as I go across the line. So letter B is going to be 11 centimeters away and Letter A, the first point, is zero centimeters away. So I have this all set up uh, for my activity here. Now the elevations should be fairly simple. So as I go across, the second one is 800. 800 again. Then I start going back uphill again. Now this one I go downhill. I was at 900, I go downhill to 800 because this is the lake. And then here's another 800, and then back going back uphill again is 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 feet, 1,300 feet, 1,400 feet, 1,500 feet, and then 1,600 feet. Now here at 1,600 feet, we don't know how much exactly it's going to be anywhere from here to there, so we're just going to kind of guesstimate that. Um, we do know, however, that it can't be 1,700 feet, because if there was, there would be another line here. So we know it's somewhere between 1,600 feet and 1,700 feet. Now, as we get past point 11, now we're at point 12, we're still at 1,600 feet. And then we start going downhill. All right, so now we have all the elevations that correspond to the points one through 19. Now we need to actually do our measurements. Now this is gonna take a little bit more time and a little bit more effort to do these measurements. And I'm gonna do that now.
Okay, that worked really well. So here we have all of our data. We have all of our elevations and we have all of our and we have all of our elevations and we have all of our distances that we're going to be measuring on our chart over here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I think I'll just put this over here right now, but then I'll move it back and forth so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So first we're going to start with A, which is right here, 900 elevation, distance of zero. So the distance is zero, elevation is 900, I make a point. Now the next one I'm going to do is elevation of 800 and I'm going to go over 0.8 centimeters. So here's 800 and I'm going to go over 0.8 centimeters which is right about here. Now the next one is also 800. I'm going to go over 1.2 centimeters. So I'm going to go over 1.2 centimeters from here. And that's right about here. And then I'm going to continue to do this. Now I'm going to go back up to 900. And I'm going to measure to 2.2 centimeters. Alright, just to give you a point of reference where I'm at right now. I am at this point right here. So point one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four is where I'm at. Okay, moving on. So now I'm at elevation 1000, and that is going to be 2.9, make a point. 1100 is 3.3, .3. 1200, Sixteen hundred. The first one is seven point five, and the second one is eight point eight. Now I'm going to start going back down again. So fifteen hundred is fifteen hundred is nine point two. Fourteen hundred, continuing to go downhill, nine point five. 1300, 9.8, 1200, 10.4, 1000, 10.6, and then our last one, Letter B, which should actually be at 11, so I don't know why it's there. That point's in the wrong spot. I can fix that pretty simply. The letter B came printed on with the worksheet. I don't like it there, so I'm going to erase it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of play connect the dots. Now to do that, I can use a ruler or just kind of freehand it. I prefer to freehand it because that looks a little more natural. Now this one, we don't know how far down it goes for the lake. And then here I'm at the peak. Again, don't really know how high it goes, but let's make it a little bit higher. And then go down here. So. So here's point A, here's point B. They both end at the same elevation. You can see here it goes down a little bit. Kind of clean that up a little bit, make that look a little better. Okay, so this goes downhill slightly. Here's the lake. You can even make that look pretty. Probably shouldn't do this, but why not? Here's our lake. And then we're going to go uphill 
relatively gentle up to here. Now we're at our peak and then it starts going down. Now notice that it's going down much more steeply and you can see that because here the lines, the contour lines are spread further apart. Here the contour lines are much closer together. That means that the change is in elevation is happening much faster than the change in elevation is happening here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, any questions, put them down below. Hopefully this is helpful. See ya.